Hey guys, this is Andrew and I'm here to show you my fluidizing bed for fluidized powder coating. For those of you who have followed along on the Hackaday project, uh, you pretty much know what this is. Um, for those of you who don't, I suggest you take a look down in the description uh, to get a good uh, overview and uh, understanding of what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the air. Hopefully that's not too loud. And uh, what I have in here is some matte black powder coating. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start increasing the air supply into the chamber. And we'll start to see some geysers form. That's because this specific powder coating is a little too small to properly fluidize. No matter how much I adjust the airflow, I will never be able to get this powder coating to properly fluidize. Uh, it will spit and sputter and really just not work. So that's why I added a mechanical agitation device, in this case a magnetic stirrer, to the system. So I'll go ahead and turn that on and I can actually adjust the speed a little bit using this potentiometer over here. And what we'll actually start to see is the powder coat begin to puff up a little bit and I'll actually be able to increase the air supply. And we're gonna start to see some smaller bubbles form more randomly across the surface and this is exactly what we're looking for as the air is moving up through this powder it's actually suspending the mass of the powder allowing it to behave much like a fluid there we go that's looking great so if i were to turn off this mechanical stir what we'll actually see is this powder coating will will start to deflate um, that's because the interactions of the actual powder coating molecules um, are too high and they fall into that cohesive group, uh, preventing proper fluidization. So I just turned off the magnetic stir and you're actually watching as the powder coating is slowly falling down. Now what we'll also see is, is more bubbling happening around the edges and eventually it'll stop completely. And what will probably happen is we'll start to form channeling or a geyser as we saw when I first started this video. So you can see now that the middle of the powder coating really isn't doing a whole lot. And if I adjust the air for however much I want to, I can get it to bubble, but it's not really fluid as it once was. So if I turn back on the stirrer, you'll see that it puffs up quite a bit more. And it's a lot more fluid now. And I can adjust the air down a little bit more and kind of tweak it to get exactly what I'm looking for. But this just shows the benefit of a mechanical agitator such as a ma magnetic stirrer in a setup like this. Thanks.